is our shoulder and arm workout. My name is Alan. I'll be narrating this video. We start off with some side raises standing. Four sets, 12 to 15 reps. Make sure we bring it all the way up. This is Chad. He'll be along with these YouTube videos. Him and I are creating this YouTube channel. Work together, show instructional videos. Start off, we did seated side raises. Making sure our arm is straight, focusing on our form on each arm, bringing our arm all the way up to our neck, focusing on that shoulder. Next, we did upright rows with the barbell, focusing on our form, bringing it up, working our front delt, bringing it up to our chest. You can see I'm leaning over a little forward helps work the muscle a little bit more, focuses right on it. No swinging involved. Make sure your form is perfect. Focus on the area that you want to. Here's Chad work doing his warm up set. 25s on each side. Bring it up to his chest. Next, he was doing 135 for about three to four sets. Bringing it up to his chest, making sure that his form is good. Next, we did rear cable reverse flies, single arm. Focusing on the rear delt, I was holding on to the machine, making sure I can focus and squeeze the muscle. Keeping my arm straight, bringing it straight back, not bending my arm too much, keeping my arm straight. This is Chad doing his left side. See how his arm is straight and he keeps his arm parallel to his eye. Make sure you bring it all the way back. Next we did a superset with dumbbell skull crushers into bicep curls. This is Chad doing his first set. This is with 50s or 60s I believe. Making sure that his form is good, keeping his elbows in place, making sure he stretches out the tricep head, squeezing at the top. Go right into bicep curls, seated. Alternate, make sure we focus on our form, no swinging. Then we dropped into lighter weight and he did standard alternating bicep curls to finish it off. No swing involved. Next, I did, I was working with 40s, I believe. I need to work on keeping my elbows still you can see that my form wasn't perfect towards the end you can see that I fixed my form and it was a lot harder so I need to work on that right here got harder my elbows were lots weren't moving as much and it got harder so you can see that my form needs to improve went to seated bicep curls this is with 50s no swing involved, focusing on squeezing it at the top, stretching out the muscle at the bottom. Turning your wrist as I come up, focusing on that peak. Went to 35s. I did, I think, one together with both of them, and then I alternated it to complete the superset. Next we did behind the head rope pulls to work our triceps. And we superset this with rope cable bicep curls. Make sure we squeeze it all the way down, stretch the bicep, tricep out, pull all the way up and separate the ropes. Make sure we squeeze at the top.
about four to five sets on this also. Bring the rope up and twisting it out. Make sure we squeeze at the top. Next we did close grip bench press to work our triceps. We finished this workout with supersetting that with this and inside hammer curls. Bring in the bar close to our chest and the dumbbells to our opposite chest pec. Make sure we work the forearm. See Chad is here, he's focusing on it. Make sure he brings all the way to the top. Finish it off with four sets. 10 to 15 reps. I'm here doing 135. I need more weight on there, more grip. Could be a lot closer. Chad was helping me focusing on that. Bringing in my elbows a lot more instead of focusing on chest, more of the tricep. More videos to come and show the improvement on that. Going right into hammer curls. This is with 60s. See that's a lot harder towards the end of the workout. Got tired. Make sure we bring it all the way up, working the forearm. Bring it to the opposite chest back. And this ends our shoulder and arm workout.